Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Frank again with Texas underscore box tunes. It's spelled TX underscore boss tunes. Uh, you can go see me at Instagram. Um, this video is to show you how to connect your uh, micro squirt to your Fox body Mustang. Um, uh, I just wanted to show you all the items that are included. Uh, you've got your uh, map sensor. Uh, here's the instructions on how to wire it up based on whether you have an 86 through 90 Mustang or 91 through 93. Uh, all the wiring pins are here. I'll show you here in a second how mine is set up. It's a, mine's a 90. Uh, you've got a serial connection to uh, the microphone port, which this connects to your micro. This side will connect to your laptop. If you don't have a, a serial port on your laptop, you're gonna wanna get an adapter that goes from the uh, DB9 to a USB port. <clears throat> uh, here we've got the uh, micro squirt. Uh, this is it guys, it's not not uh, a large ECU like you've got on your Fox Mustangs. But uh, anyhow, uh, it is a plug and play system. So this connector here will go right into the micro and uh, this side will go into your uh, stock harness. So again, it is a plug and play. Uh, here's the uh, connector that goes to your uh, uh, DB9 connector, which I showed you a minute ago. Uh, I also want to point out that the uh, micro squirt does have a fan controller on it it can uh, have your o2 sensor uh, tapped into it so that you can uh, read uh, your wideband gauge on the data logs and then you've got a tack output cable as well as some additional pins here you can do a two-step uh, on on the um, uh, micro squirt as well uh, so i'll show you um, on this side here uh, I'll bring the wiring with me. Uh, this happens to be my car, uh, and I, I've ran my car with uh, micro squirt for some time. I would say a year to a year and a half, and I uh, just recently stepped up to the Stinger. But um, micro squirt does just fine for NA or boosted setups. Uh, what you will want to do is you'll want to get rid of your stock BAP sensor and go with a, a three bar map, which is included in the micro. Um, anyway, all it needs is a vacuum line. Uh, it's preferred that you go to the intake manifold uh, with it if you've got an extra port if not i'm sure on your vacuum tr vacuum tree you've got an extra port there uh, but anyway uh, just to give you a quick look um, and like i said mine's a, i did say 90 but that's a mistake mine's a 91 uh, so i've got the brown and white wire coming off the uh, stock harness it's going to the yellow wire um, as you can see here uh, it says going to uh, c uh, let's just take a quick look uh, White the yellow wire on the back of the map sensor says it is the yellow one Okay, so then uh, let's look at the next one here. Uh, I've got this uh, gray and uh, red stripe Gray and red stripe here. It shows it to go to the a wire which a is the black wire uh, That's how it's hooked up on mine and then the last one's gonna be the green and black wire. Going to the red, green and black, says B on it. Um, here on B, it shows to be the red wire. Okay, so that is just uh, one, one piece that you've gotta make sure you get right. Um, it, what happens here is once you have everything hooked up, you want you wanna hook up to it, and then uh, you'll see it on your ECU. Um, that uh, on the tuner studios it should read 100 kpa uh, plus or minus a couple degrees uh, or percentages i should say but um anyway that's um that's a good indication that you wired it correctly uh, in some cases people wired in it may read 150 200 or it may read 50 and uh, that's not correct obviously with the engine turned off you should be reading 100 kpa uh, that is uh, important because it tells you where the uh, loads on your engines are. So anyway, um, I wanted to show a quick video of that. Uh, the last thing, as I mentioned, this connector goes to the stock harness on the passenger bottom kick panel. Um, you'll have access to it. Um, and then other than, you know, the, the three bar map, you're all set. Um, like I said, you'll need an adapter if your laptop does not have the uh, USB or the serial port. So that's very common serial DB9 to USB works pretty well. Um, so anyway, look out for some more videos. I'm gonna make a few others of um, getting first connected to Tuner Studios and uh, you know, a few other options. But um, I've got another video that I just made for uh, setting up your timing, getting it synchronized. 
Uh, hope this helps. Uh, give me some comments. Let me know what else you want to see. And uh, if you have any questions on this setup. Thanks a lot.